All right, Mr. Pickers, shall we take a look at what's in the festival playlist? Sure. Shall we bring up the game on the screen? There we go. Okay, I'll do a quick whistle stop tour of uh, Series 18 festival playlist. Uh, Series 18 was put together by our new designers, Matt and Anna. And uh, I'm going to focus on our. Oh, I'm in spring. I'm going to focus on our new and exclusive cars. Um, so, our first one that you will find is in a championship called Shummer Nights, uh, where you can top um, version of the Hummer H1 Alpha. What is um, a Shummer? I don't know. Uh, ask Matt. <laughs> <laughs> he named this championship. I think he's gone Summer and Hummer blended together. That's what. What he was going oh, it's a there. pun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Good job, Matt. Um, cool. He's probably watching upstairs, so he'll uh, appreciate the shout <laughs> out. Uh, in autumn, for completing 50% of uh, the festival playlist this week, you'll be able to grab the, the Lamb Lamborghini uh, Huracan Performante, which is the rival to the 488 Pista. Um, nice. Look forward to the deep dive on that. So yeah, so this is a heavily requested car, that to say the least. Yeah. yeah. And I'll just scan through here so you guys can see what else is in there. But then we'll go over to winter, where our next exclusive car is the Porsche 356C, the Emery Special, um, which are custom built, I think, for their owners, aren't they? Yeah. No two Emery Specials are alike. Um, and then, what else have we got? Uh, oh, wow, you can win the Jazzy Cowboy hat. Yeah, that is something you can get in this, <laughs> in this series. In spring, we have the, um, the Showcase Remix, a new one, uh, Taxi for Takeoff, where you'll be racing Aisha's Taxi against the Delta Wing. Uh, we tested it earlier, that's why it's already completed. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt revealing that despite how it may appear, we do actually sometimes do a rehearsal of this show. <laughs> and then our last but not least car, um, even though the championship is called Is That a Supra, uh, you'll be racing in the Supra, that's the, that's the, uh, the connection there, but you'll be winning the A86, the Toyota uh, Truno Sprinter, um, which is an absolute meme machine. And we've got a whole set of car masteries for that car that reference its, uh, its stardom in Initial D. Yeah. Um, so, let's, uh, should we take a look at that Showcase Remix? I think that's a great shout, yeah. And oh, we're in just about the right location to do it as well. Convenient. And if one of our tech guys could press a button on the remote, that big monitor is about to go to sleep. Uh, we are now oh, in our more. Eliminator section of the show, and we will soon be doing a new section that is called Alimi Q&A Tour. Uh, which means that I have to introduce a new person to the sofa, Mr. Gareth Davies. Hello, Mike. Welcome, welcome to the show. I do. Um, yeah, what have you been playing lately? Uh, I've been playing the DLC for Hitman 2, the uh, bank uh, New York level that was recently added, and a bit of Dragon Quest XI on the Nintendo Switch. And aside from that, a little bit of a game mode called Eliminator. A bit of Eliminator, that's... Tiny bit, yeah. Perfect. A couple of matches. Uh, yeah, Gareth has a, actually a real problem. Uh, he, he, he wakes <laughs> up, he plays Eliminator, he comes to work, he plays Eliminator, he goes home, plays Eliminator. Yeah, more Eliminator. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's I, think, I think when he pretended he plays with the games was actually... It was actually just a lie. <laughs> he was just trying to make it sound like he had a, a balanced gaming diet. What's come out recently? <laughs> just quick Google on the release schedule. <laughs> yeah, Hitman, that'll do. Um, uh, before, any, before we jump into Elimi Curator, we're going to take a moment now to uh, just talk about Eliminator, I think, between us, because uh, we, we released it about one month ago. We did a stream, which you guys will have no doubt seen, and the response has been incredible. Um, you guys have been telling us that you love it, and we have had so, so many people playing it. We've had more people playing Eliminator than any of our other multiplayer modes ever. Uh, it's been a, a real, real great success. And more than that, I think it's just a... It's been a really fun, fun way to spend time, as, as Gareth can attest. Uh, and I think we just want to take this moment to, uh, to reinforce that it's not, we're not done with it yet. We are still looking at ways we can improve, expand, always add more fun and add more functionality to it. And Matt, I think you're going to give us a quick summary of what's coming in Update 18. In, uh, update 18? Uh, what, for Eliminator? The heavy hitters thing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you changed it from what, how we rehearsed it. Yeah, we've got a new, uh, a new lineup of cars coming into Eliminator mode where we've refreshed uh, the selection of cars. Um, I have a list here, uh, if you want to go through it. One, one for each level, isn't it? There well, is, yeah, apart from the Mini. The Mini remains the same. Uh, so coming in at level two is the Tractor. Number three, the Unimog. Number four, the Mini X-Raid. Number five, the Hummer Open Top that we saw earlier on. Uh, number six, the Regalia Type D. Number seven, the Warthog. Number eight, the Diberti Wrangler. Number nine, the Funko. And number 10, the Aisha's Taxi, as we mentioned during the uh, The, the Aisha's Taxi we just saw. That's right. 
Wow. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And that's the the numbers correspond to what level they are as well. Yeah. Yeah. As well. Right. yeah. Kind of branding those all under the umbrella of Horizon Heavyweights, I believe. That's it. Yeah. They're all heavyweight vehicles that will be appearing in uh, Eliminator mode during the series. So, so how does that work then? Is this a is it, does it last all all series long? Yes. Uh, yep. And uh, and then it will go away or stick around. Or? Um, TBD, I think, at this stage. I think we'll be looking to see how uh, that change is received by the community and making changes from that. Okay, cool. And they are, they're not replacing any of the current cars, is that right? Uh, I believe they are. No, we're not, I don't think we're taking any out at this point. Okay, well, there you they're go. They're just Lawless. new ones being added. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like this segment was supposed to be Torben's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, oh. Torben not here this this week, unfortunately. Um, but we've got much. We've got a lot to say about Torben, so do you stick around? <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of dropped me in it a little bit, <laughs> the last second. Um, yes. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we've been really paying close attention to all of your activity within Eliminator, and we've been seeing who's been playing it a lot, how people have been playing it. It's been really reassuring how many people just hit that play again button at the end. And it's just. Uh, it's almost everyone is just hit, finishing the game and hit and play again, which is just great. But there is one player who has really stuck out above everyone else. I'm not going to say his name. I don't want to get any targeted harassment or anything like that, but he is a prolific Eliminator player. Uh, he has won, uh, well, probably by now more than, because this will be a slightly old statistic, but he has won over 353 games of Eliminator. 90% uh, of the games he's appeared in, he has made it all the way to the final race. And in two thirds, of the games he's played in. He has been in the top three. Uh, this guy is an absolute machine at Eliminator, and uh, I think we can all aspire to be more like him. Because um, <laughs> we have our own take a look at the new cars yep. in the Series 18 update. Which one do you want to go for first? Um, well, everyone's well, going to want the Hurricane. Yeah, my, mi my mixer sensors are telling me that all the guys in the chat want to see the uh, Hurricane Performante. Performante. So, Hummer? So, yeah, let's take a look at the Hummer. Um, <laughs> all right. I was joking, <laughs> because yeah. it isn't. Here All we right, go. Let's look at the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> no, we save the best for last, right? So yeah, we've got the open top version of the hammer that's uh, already in the game. Uh, so this is the 2006 one. So this is when they updated it to a 6.6 .6 litre Duramax engine. Uh, so it's 300 horsepower, 500 and something per pound of torque, which would make most cars fast. But when it weighs 3.4 tons or 7,600 pounds, that's wrong, don't shoot me, <laughs> don't do pounds. Uh, it makes it quite slow. Uh, so it's, it's, not the quickest. it's not the quickest. It's also gigantic, which is what, perfect for going the, down um, narrow bridge roads. What's the fuel economy like? Terrible. Um, I would imagine that. it can't even get into double figures. Um, oh dear. Yeah. It's so wide, you could fit like four people abreast in that. But you can only fit four people in it total. Yeah. Because uh, it's only got four seats. Because it has a gigantic transmission. You could fit another four in the in the. Oh, in, in, the, in the pickup bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you could just sit on the like. There's a bit between the two rear seats that's just a giant table essentially. You could you could sit on. Mm. Really cool cockpit details as well. I think. Uh, yeah. off, often with these. Uh, well. Yeah. Look at the space. Between atypical production cars. I guess it's so like, you can fit a squad of soldiers in there. And, and a picnic. Yeah. In this in this, <laughs> in this civilian version of the car. Yeah. I really like that kind of late 90s, early millennia switch gear. Um, like the big, the big buttons. What's the green thing? I don't know. And the Hummer <laughs> is available, content. as we noticed earlier, you can get this in summer, so starting from yep. Thursday in the Shummer Nights, Shummer Nights Championship. Shummer Nights, yeah. Shummer Nights. that's not a typo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm getting rained on at the moment. Is that the snorkel on the front there? Like, could you fit a snorkel? Uh, yeah, I, like. I would imagine that probably is the air intake. I, I don't know though. Um, Hummers are not my, my strong point of car knowledge. I see. All right, should we go? What next? Next up. Oh, we is there a uh, Torben Tuesday thing that we need to discuss? Here? Oh, yes. 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 So, guys, this uh, is why we mentioned I think uh, Torben isn't here. That's because he's on the naughty step. <laughs> um, because of really, Torben Tuesday was a bit 
It was a bit unfair on you guys. There was, it was very I, difficult this time I, around. I think esoteric, in fact, esoteric isn't even the word. I think <laughs> there probably is another word that um, either doesn't yet exist in the English language. Maybe we'll call it the Torben. Um, <laughs> a, a, a challenge so weird and obscure that nobody got it. Nobody got it, and no one ever really had a chance. So the clue for this one was, um, I think you wrote the number 11818 on the whiteboard, which is the number of them that were built. Yeah. So shame on you guys for not getting that, right? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I took, a, I took a day off on the Monday, which is when they shoot the Torben Tuesday, so I wasn't there to be like, hey guys, this is terrible. Um, <laughs> so it'll be better next time, I promise, I promise. Anyway, next car, let's go. Um, which one? Should we actually give them the Puff Manto? Yes, I think yeah. we should not troll. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this one, uh, as we said earlier, massive fan request, uh, massive community request, this one. Um, we've been trying to get it in the game for quite a while now. Um, mm -hmm. So well. I know, I know it's been uh, appearing in request lists for uh, several months. Since it's existed, really. Since it's, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think, uh, I think about 15 minutes after it was revealed, uh, yeah. we were getting asked why it wasn't in the game yet. And, well, it takes a little while, sorry. It guys. takes longer than 15 <laughs> minutes to build a car. Um, so yeah, this is the track version of the Huracan. Um, so it's 40 kilos lighter, I think 30 horsepower, That's more right. out of its absolutely glorious V10. Um, this really is one of the best engines in the world, I think. The noise it makes is spectacular. Um, and it has a, some rather trick aerodynamics on it called uh, Lamborghini Arla, which stands for, Whoa. I tried this earlier, um, <laughs> Aerodynamica Lamborghini Ativa, um, which is essentially, it's a passive active aero which uses valves that kind of go through the car um, to stall the rear wing and to drop the pressure off of the front splitter to reduce drag. Um, but the cool thing is, because it's two separate ducts, when you're cornering and you turn in, they'll uh, keep the inside one uh, closed in high drag mode, which creates, you have more drag on one side of the car mm. and that rotates the car in. So like an air brake? Yeah. Uh, so they're calling that active, uh, the aerodynamic uh, vectoring uh, is the term they're giving it. And it, do, it does work. This thing is one of the quickest Lamborghinis ever made. It, I think when it was released, it was now being beaten by the Aventador SP. Mm -hmm. So this will do sub seven minutes at the Nürburgring, which is yeah. one, one of uh, only a handful of cars capable of that at the moment. It's a very special car. Wow. Oh, I love the cockpit. I love the, uh, the stripe down the side there and the Italian flag the colors. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we had a little go on the interior view, but um, in this camera view in particular, you can just see that crazy dash. Yeah, what's the name of that material, Crest? Yeah. The carbon fibre material. Is that, or that, is it, is it, do you mean on the dash or is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Oh, no, like the suede Alcantara yeah, type. Alcantara. Yeah. Is it Alcantara? Yeah. yeah. Um, it probably would be Alcantara, yeah. And then that carbon fibre, I think, is something they um, initially did with the Sesta Elemento, which is like, uh, like crushed up bits of carbon fibre, then re resined uh, to, to look like that, and it's got this oh, really nice kind of marbled effect, mm. um, which is very unique uh, to this car. And the Performante, available in autumn, so in a couple of weeks from now, and you, you can get this for free just by completing 50% uh, of this stuff in the festival playlist for autumn. Um, That's right. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, you guys have been asking for it. Here it is. Um, shall we? What's next? Should we have a look at the Toyota A86 next, or the Sprinter Torino. The, sprint, the, the car with many names. Yeah. Um, let's take a look. To which, while it's loading, I have facts about its names. Go, go so ahead. There, there's uh, essentially two versions of this car. You've got the Torino and the Levin. Torino is Spanish for thunder, and Levin is Middle English for lightning. Middle English being a version of the English language from between 1150 and 1500. So there you go. Until Toyota uh, resurrected, it was basically just found on Old pub UK pub town. Yeah, yeah. fairly tech. <laughs> uh, so this thing's super iconic. It's got many names, as you said. It's Hachiroku, it's A86, it's uh, Torino, it's Levin for the notchback version of it. Um, it's iconic is what it is. It's, uh, it's a movie star, it's star of uh, manga comics, all sorts. Um, it's a tofu delivery car. Um, <laughs> uh, but it's pr probably uh, between it's most famous either tofu delivery or uh, for the very early days of drifting, mm -hmm. um, being a lightweight rear-wheel drive car, 
it's kind of on the lower end of the market. Uh, not much was rear-wheel drive when this came out, so it was an affordable rear-wheel drive car. And it just so happened to have a really good chassis, limited slip differential, and an, a pucker of an engine in the uh, 4 AGE, which in stock form, I think, revs to 7,800 RPM, and modified, they've been known to go past 10,000, uh, making good power, stock at about 130. So drifting in our game, not the easiest. Uh, Matt wants to uh, I was heading to a drift zone, the one in Ambleside, it's just around this corner, so. All right, well, w Matt is one of the finest drifters oh, here we go. in uh, <laughs> uh, Playground Games, so taking this stock drift icon, um, we, can all, we can all cheer him on as yeah. he bosses this drift zone. <laughs> Back to three star score, so. Oh, you should easily get three stars in this, right? Sure, yeah. yeah. With it stock as well. Get any excuses in. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going the right way, am I? No, you not. Know. Go left down here. Is there a junction down here? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, you've gone completely the wrong way. Never mind. Go over the river. What a shame. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't show off your drifting now. <laughs> we could do the speed zone instead. Which? Well, there you go. Look at this. Look at this car getting eight, going 85 miles an hour. Ooh. 85 whole miles an hour. Wow. Nearly enough to, to go back in time. Yeah. Can we three-star yeah. that? No? No. no. Okay. Yeah. Are you not going to give us a drift zone? Are you actually just, have you, have you intentionally? <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I'm not going to, no, let's not force it. Let's not force it. Yeah. You were only going to embarrass yourself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's, uh, I've done the, that true, the true note is available in spring in the Is That a Supra Championship. That's correct. Um, slightly confusing naming there because the championship is called Is That a Supra because you're going to race a Supra in it, uh, but you will win the.